pretty much everything is locked behind things, which we can't really work on anyways with the low amount of people we currently have. Ooh. We, in fact, have three more people that joined the workforce, which is beautiful. All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to another episode on Settlement Survival with me, Spacefish. And welcome back to our beautiful little town where uh, we currently have a stream of immigrants waiting somewhere. Technically, I think they're standing here, all just wedged into each other, pretty much. But they, they're somewhere here, I promise. And uh, we just discovered a huge, huge issue at the end of the last episode. The issue being that we actually need a town hall to be able to accept these immigrants in and we don't have one yet we instantly went on of course to schedule one but I am now really really worried that we may not make this build in time and if that becomes the case that is going to be absolutely terrible because well I have to say we are absolutely understaffed on everything currently and we really 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 need some more people that we can put on some tasks so Hopefully, we will somehow get this sorted. We will uh, also, on the side, actually need to make sure to get some resources, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. Because you can see right here, it's winter. People will freeze to death if I send them out like two bajillion years for some stones. So, that'll also be quite interesting. So, well, let's see if we can make this happen. Before we go and proceed, though, if you're new around here, if you do happen to enjoy this very episode, please make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down below. That would really mean... An absolute ton. We're trying to hit 1k subs and, well, honestly, it's still a good bit of a way to go. So every single person does really do a lot for that. With that out of the way, though, um, let's first and foremost, before we actually get time playing, you can see right here, we need 120 stones. Iron ore is not going to be that much of an issue, even though, you know, we are actually going to be out of iron ore after that, which is quite insane, especially given that, you know, we do need that iron ore for tools and stuff, too. Uh, but we definitely need some stones. And I think... That the closest set of stones is out here. I am a bit worried that if I send people out to grab them now, uh, they will absolutely just freeze to death. Uh, technically speaking, there is some right here as well, with us even having mined some too. But that that is like that's never going to happen. People are absolutely going to be dead before they make it there. So we will try, right? Hopefully, I don't sacrifice any tools here or any uh, tools. <laughs> tools. That's what I call my citizen. Any people here or anything, but we kind of need to make them do it. So, hopefully, hopefully they can actually go and get us those all important stones. And then, if and when we hopefully manage to go and get these immigrants in here, fingers crossed on that end, uh, we will go and proceed to uh, get a quarry, I think. You know, when we do actually have... Oh my god! Oh no. Um, We, we, we will actually try and then, you know... Use those new people to get the quarry running, get some of the other things running. But, uh, gigantic alpaca has run into your city. <laughs> Jeez. Seems to be in shock. Was running around injuring several people. How are you going to deal with it? I'm going to try and capture it. Fiercely resistant run away after injuring several people. Oh my god, and there's two injured people. Well, that helps us. Ginormously. Absolutely not. So, um... That kind of sucks. There's already someone freezing right there. I hope you're going to make it back home, mate. Um, well, <laughs> we'll see about that. But at least, you know, they're picking away at the stones and stuff. And we really, really kind of just need it. Like, I, I would like to spare them the, the pain. But we really, really kind of need all those stones. In fact, I'm not even sure we're getting enough stones collected here, to be honest. Our fuel reserves also being low once more. But luckily... We somehow made it through winter at least, so hopefully not being the biggest issue in the world. We're also now out of clothes, because, well, as we discussed the last time around, we don't actually have the materials to make people clothes. So at this point, they're basically all running around naked, which <laughs> is a bit of an issue. Um, but yeah, so I guess we have to gather all these as well. I do have the slight feeling that we don't have enough stone still. In fact, we nearly do have enough, but we'll need some more in the future too, and... Uh, we're also apparently out of timber. Jesus Christ. We're out of absolutely everything. May I just say that? We are out of absolutely everything right here. So, I mean, you know, the gathering people will have lots of gathering to do. We do have a slight bit of an issue, though, being that uh, 
Well, in fact, it's February. I think we're sowing in March, so we do have a tad bit of time remaining, but not much. And I do think I remember that we had taken some people off of these things and put them onto different tasks, like the tools, like... I don't actually know, to be honest. What do we put them to? Tailoring. I guess we put them to tailoring and, uh... Well, we do have that going on. Do we have enough alpaca wool? Why are we out of clothing then? And if we have a tailor already going... Ah, right, wait. We have a textile, water mill, flax. Ah. Oh, and we're making it from alpaca wool currently because that's the only stuff we have, I guess, based on the hunter that we have. Where's my... Is it here in raw materials? Textile material. Nope. Textile materials. Yeah, we do have a bit of alpaca wool, so I guess that's what we're currently using to make that stuff. That said, it doesn't seem to be enough to actually keep people clothed. We are missing 13 clothes already. So, we'll have to kind of find out what to do about that. Do we have any way to get some uh, advanced tailor? But we don't have any planks, do we? Nope. Not a single one, because we're making fuel here. You can see we're still absolutely out of that too, so... Well, I don't know what to do, because to be honest, I mean, we do need to get people onto the fields. At least the one with flax, I guess. Well, food, you know, peas would be nice as well. Chil chili as well, to be honest, but like... Who do I put onto that? Because, well, we do have, uh, in fact, a few tools, so maybe the tools person can swap over and then... Like, one of the fuel people, now that it's not winter anymore. I don't know where I'm getting the third and fourth person from, but it's at least two fields. So maybe like a flax and a pea field we can sow or something. We'll wait for the time being for March to come around. Um, those people are still standing around there, though. So, you know, I'm going to just remain hopeful for the time being. Keep collecting that timber. We do have enough stone laying in there, so that's quite nice. Um, iron ore. We also seem to be hitting now soon, so, um, you know, gather, gather all thy materials, people. We need to finish this stuff before everyone just leaves us. Uh, we do also have a merchant ship that's apparently supposed to be detached with which we can trade at a dock. The thing is, we don't have a dock, so does that mean I cannot trade with them? Is Where would this be at? Services. Uh, logistics. I guess we don't even have it researched, right? Well, technically speaking, we probably have... Well, we do have three technology points that we haven't used yet. So... Oh, yeah, here. Dock. Merchant ships will come to the dock every period of time if goods that can be purchased. Do you have some money, so that would be quite nice, to be honest. We'll go and grab that. The question is if we'll actually be able to build it in time. And, you know, staff it, ideally. I also don't really know where I would go about slapping that one down. How does this thing work? Right, so, how do I turn it again? Um, no, that's... This, this is what we would need. I mean, I'm turning the thing, but I've... Ah, so something like this would work, yeah? Boom. There we go. So, that's the plan. That's the plan for the time being. It'll take a while, I guess, but... um. Well, you know, generally speaking... Yeah, I don't think we'll get it ready for when the merchant ship drops by. I mean, depends also, I guess, at the end of the day, how long the merchant ship will last us. Also, we're still out of flipping wood. Where did all the wood just go? I just cut down so many trees. Why do we also have so many trees down here that are, like, technically grown, but also, you know, not really being knocked down for the wood? I've got no clue. The only thing that I do kind of... Well, we can't really knock down things here. Um, maybe we can knock down a few more out here. But we do need to keep some around this thing, because, you know, all the stuff the gatherers had gathers is, um, well, kind of growing in... Oh, there comes some more wood. Okay, so we're still gathering it, I guess, so we just still don't have enough together. 
But, you know, hopefully we can just spam. Oh, no, they're leaving. No. No, don't leave me. Oh, I'm so sad. We almost had it. Come on, just finish it before they're off the map. Well, it won't do anything for us, will it? God damn it. This is so annoying right now. Like, what are we meant to do about that? It also is March. It's actually, in fact, almost April. Jesus Christ. Okay, we well, you need to fix this now. Oh, that is so annoying. I don't know. Well, what, what can we do, right? But... We really needed those people. I mean, there's a lot of kids, you know, in in the town. All of those will take absolute ages to lay out anything valuable. In the meanwhile, they just drain our resources. Flipping leeches. I'm oh, just kidding, of course. But still, you know, in, in any case, we kind of... Oh. Kind of need to get things ready. And I'm not sure how. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, what I would like to have a quick peek at... Oh, we're good on clothing. That's nice. Um... What I would like to have a quick peek at. We do have a bit of alpaca wool still remaining. There is some alpaca wool still in the storage here. So I would say what we will do for the time being is we'll just turn off that textile water mill. We'll get that person onto the peas as well. Because we do need to ensure that we do get some food coming in still. I would decrease in you know, other people in the forest as hot. But to be quite honest with you, I mean, we need every single bit of wood that we can get at the moment. So that's not really an option. And... Well, aside from that, there's not really any other place that we could pull any worker off of, right? I mean, the clothes... Maybe we temporarily shut down the clothes workshop just to actually make sure to sew here as well. And then we go from there. So let's let's go sewing for now. And uh, well, we'll just count on the fact that those three clothing items last for at least a few minutes. Um, probably going to be at zero in like two seconds time, but... Well, it is what it is at that point, right? So, um, trees are continuing to be knocked down. Um, we're continuing to be low on pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, nice. There we go, right? Three citizen need clothes. So, uh, that lasted us quite long. Well, once this thing is, uh, kind of just all sewn out, I guess we can temporarily pull the worker off that again and put her onto something else. Uh, we're still out of fuel, by the way, which... Yeah, I guess it's kind of because we're also permanently out of wood, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, this is so insane. This is absolutely insane. We're just... Oh, yeah, also... Because we're kind of... Wait. Well, it's not important now anymore to prioritize the town hall, to be honest. So we'll just prioritize the dock, in fact, because that's something that we may still be able to make some use of if that merchant should... Uh, ship rather comes or when it comes that said we do also still need to knock down more trees so we'll just continue to schedule absolutely murdering every bit of forest that has ever stood in our way basically and uh, well you know the good message uh, the positive message is at least some of these things are also regrowing at some point so nah, better than nothing we can also kind of just clear out wherever we've now knocked down forest um, you know, gather all the random items that may be useful, because why not? We did get a new tech point right there, which is great. We uh, are, basically all our people are nude again at this point, which is not great. Um, and the dock is actually in progress and being built, so that is indeed quite nice. Very, very happy to hear. You know, the iron mine continues providing all that fancy iron for us, which is absolutely beautiful. And, well, you know, the, the wood keeps flowing in, but the wood also keeps just, like, yeeting out the window. I don't know where it is all going, but it's it's going. I can tell you as much. It is absolutely going. That said, uh, the chili is planted. So we're just banking on the fact now, I would say, that it's going to grow on its own. And uh, we'll see just how well that works out for us. In the meanwhile, you know, she can go and continue making clothes for us. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but we may as well give it a daring try, right? Um, this thing almost done. Well, the merchant ship has thing has come in. Oh my god, that is a giant tree. Holy moly, have I never seen that before. The merchant ship event has come and gone, but it hasn't appeared, so I guess unless you do have a dock, it doesn't come. Which actually makes me sad, because now we kind of waste our effort on that. But there's another event coming up, so, you know... At least for that one, we will have it. And in the meanwhile, I guess we don't need to necessarily man that thing. So, 
Well, it's annoying. It's it's kind of well, it is what it is, right? So, um, what I'm kind of intrigued about, in fact, is if we've got anything. Well, no, we did check that last time, right? We don't have anything to necessarily increase the efficiency of the processes themselves. But what we may have is maybe this is actually quite nice. But what we may have is actually something like being able to upgrade some bits and bobs somewhere, like getting a better sort of building that provides more output. Exploration technology, you know, exploration technology. Senior mine and open mine. The possibility of accidental deaths decreases. Yeah, the thing is we don't have any of that, right? We don't have planks even, and like bricks and lamp oil and steel. It's like, oh yeah, I'll see you in three years, basically. So, not going to happen. The quarry itself, we have activated. Um, all this stuff we can once more not research. I would really like to go and slap down a quarry, I have to say. Maybe we can just pull like one person off the iron mine and put them into the quarry to make sure that we have at least, even if a tiny one, that we have at least some level of inflow, you know, of um, materials. It's also cut stone roads, which is fancy. Um, cannot afford that anytime soon, though, I have to say. Um, well, the sawmill we do have, and um, toilets. Increasing health, apparently. Who needs that health? <laughs> uh, aside from that, well, this is all quite fancy and all, but, you know... I'm, I'm trying to decide if there's anything really... Basket. The carrying way increasing is, of course, quite nice at the end of the day, right? But... <laughs> Really not quite afforded to be honest. Where's the uh, upgrade for the O here storage yard? Huh. Cellar. Well, it's nothing that, you know, I, I would just, that, that would just jump at me here and I would be like, oh yeah, we absolutely need that. And pretty much everything is locked behind things, which we can't really work on anyways with the low amount of people we currently have. Ooh! We, in fact, have three more people that joined the workforce, which is beautiful. So we can put somebody back onto working on the field. Um, we do have fuel, which is glorious. No laborer. Where did the game throw those people? We were just at 21, weren't we? Or were we at 23? I mean, the game, the game must have thrown... Oh! Right. Right. I mean, we don't have any ships coming currently, so that could just be abandoned. That's where the game threw those workers. And now the question kind of is, I mean... Happiness, health. We do have a clinic. We do have this thing. I mean, getting some level of alcohol distilled would maybe be advantageous maybe what I'm wondering about in fact you know, well, we do have Garv C so we could go and provide some I don't know if it's our top priority though we have so little in terms of people right? I would go and put someone here definitely and just for the time being we're gonna put that one extra person into the textile water mill but we will go I think now and build a quarry or whenever that administrative place is ready to go, which, by the way, we're evidently not staffing that as well. We're just staffing it when there's actually immigrants coming, I would argue. Fuel reserves are low again. Of course, well, people are, of course, picking the new ones up that we're producing now, so I guess that's the reason at the end of the day. But also, what will be the reason again in a second is that we're just about to run out of wood all over again after, like, two seconds. So, um, well, that's nice, you know. Uh, we're just going to clear out some more area right here then. And we will go and probably clear out even more area. Because in fact I would kind of like to go and... I'll just clear that out. Um, I would actually like to kind of go and build the quarry. For which we're also going to need a massive amount of wood. I'm going to be absolutely sure about that. But that is, I would say, an, inverse, an investment very worth taking. And Jesus Christ, is that thing huge? Okay. The quarry we can pretty much just slap down wherever we feel like it, and 
Well, at the end of the day, it's going to have to be a little further outside the city. Not too close to the mountain, maybe, because we do technically, I think, also need that mountain in order to be able to go and get some more iron mines slapped on that if and when we do need that. I accidentally hit the right mouse button. That was not intended whatsoever. We just go and get it a little away from the gathering post. Give it a little bit of space, I would argue. You're just kind of going to do that and, you know, get a dirt road. Get that thing just extracted outwards. And that'll be that. I mean, technically speaking, I would argue that all these things are going to be knocked down. And we'll knock down a little bit more around the quarry, in fact. And then, um... That should be good. It's going to take absolute ages for that stuff to be done, but that should be good. Now, uh... Oh, yeah. The, the chilies are starting to come off the fields, which is nice. Um... The beans, the flax, still are kind of just, you know, proceeding. Not quite good to go, so uh, maybe we can just move that worker over to a different field to help harvest when she's done then, I guess. Uh, you! What's your issue? Output limit reached. Huh. How much do we have in terms of linen already flying around? Oh, there is a lot, isn't there? There's not a lot of food, though, I can tell you that much. Jesus Christ, that went down by quite a lot. Um, I would argue, in fact, that maybe we do already want to slap down another two fields to kind of just pre-provision for the future. Uh... Ah, right, fixed size and non-fixed size. We'll just get two fixed-sized fields done. And uh, the idea is going to be that one of them in the future we're going to use for, like, a garb for some spirits. Get people a little happier. And the other one we're definitely going to be using for more food. I guess just, like, more beans. You know, very high variance of food that we're providing to people here. But yeah. So, I mean, generally speaking, I would say that is a lot of linen right there. And that should be providing for this clothes workshop for quite a while. So, maybe we actually go and take this person off the job here and just put him on something else. Um... I would argue we can just help with harvesting, make sure we get everything off the fields in time. And uh, then we'll kind of... Oh my, wait. We just got another three people that actually went from... Uh, that, that went to adulthood, so that's quite cool. Uh, we can increase the workers right here again, I would say. You know, get some more fuel in, so we have a little bit of reserve, and then we do have a lot more fuel. That would mean that we can also go and just get some planks going finally to get this going. You know, fish around a little bit and get some food through that. Uh, where else do we kind of sort of need people? Builder's cabin. We're going to upgrade on that again. I think we can go and push that a little bit. And maybe we can just go and start making some spirits. Um, town hall doesn't even need people, it seems. And... Town hall, check for auto reappointment. Not sure what this is. Recruit an administrator. Hmm. No clue how the administrator bit works just yet. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. For the time being, I would say we definitely have other priorities, such as getting this thing here ready to go. And they're just clearing out all the trees and stuff in the way currently, which is nice, which is beautiful. We do want those materials anyways, and the fields are good to go. So... Uh, we'll go and set this to a garb, I would say. We're going to go set this to... We could make chilies as well. Now we're going to make it peas. I think the output is better on that. And generally speaking, I mean, you can see, like, our food. We, we definitely want even more, I would argue. Uh, the peas here are about reaching ripeness soonish as well, which is beautiful. And... Uh, Autumn arrived. Time for harvest. Well, <laughs> the chilies are already going, so... Uh, <laughs> well, you know. It's proceeding nicely, and then once this field is done, we'll just move these two to, like, beans or something. Help out right there. Which the beans are still not being harvested. The flax is, so... The beans will probably need that help the most. A citizen got injured. That's not great. I do not like that, but it is what it is, I guess, for the time being. We shouldn't put that low of a production limit on this, like... We're just going to push that a bit, make sure that they're going to make us a nice amount of that, hopefully. And yeah, otherwise, I mean, we could use another person in the forest, this hot, I would say. 
going to open that job up already. We do need to push the productivity of that thing a bit more. Other than that, I mean, having another forest this hot would, in fact, be quite advantageous, like maybe somewhere around the border-ish here. Um, that's something to eye for the near future, I would argue. This thing here, almost good to go, which is beautiful. I do very much like that. That's all the iron now. Now they're slapping it together. 562 <laughs> slaps are needed, so it's a lot of, lot of work right there. These guys are done. So we're going to go and have them help out in the fields. And I'm so, so happy, by the way, that some of those kids grew up. Because this really does help out a bunch now. Before, like, honestly, I was... Oh, I was quite tough. And in fact, we're already knocked... No! Ah, oh, all the stuff in the fields just got messed up. Because we sowed a little too late, I think. Oh, I'm actually quite sad about that. Well... In any case, I guess we're going to decrease the workers fully on the fields now because they're not needed until March again. Next time around, though, we do need to make sure that they're standing on the fields in time because well, that was a little bit of a mess up, wasn't it? So, uh, I would say maybe we can go and get one of these people onto that sawmill to make sure to boost the output a bit more. In terms of, like the linen we are actually quite short again so we'll go and get another person to work on that and we'll get one person to work on the forester's hut now we do still have capacity so we'll go and just push up on the mine do we have anyone that's still unemployed we don't so we've covered everyone with that for the time being and I would say that probably we're going to take like a person off of this again and like one person off the mine and put them in the quarry when that's ready but that's going to take absolute ages. In any case, though, I would say some grand, grand progress made. I mean, we have a dock now to go trading. We've got a town hall to finally accept people into the town. We've got enough people, first and foremost, to work for us. Expanded on the fields. Building the quarry. Quite, quite happy with that. In the next episode, I would say we're going to get back to that. We're going to, uh, well, try and get some stones out of this quarry finally. Go and... Um, get that supply pushed up which would also be nice because that would hopefully mean at some point we can upgrade these roads make people move along a lot faster which should make things a lot more efficient and well we'll, we'll kind of just move along hopefully getting some more people growing up along the way getting uh, some planks going to get some fishing on the way and uh well i'm just kind of looking at what our next endeavor should be definitely something to make people happier and more healthy i think that's quite important for those buffs that we get from that so, I would say we'll look at all that and more in the next episode. For today, I'm ending it off right here. I hope you all very much enjoyed this one. Of course, if you did, please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button right down below for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. With all those things out of the way, though, as usual, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.